Who do you think is mostly to blame for the problems we have with waste? I tried very hard, actually, not to blame one person or things um, in the film, actually, quite deliberately, because I think, in a way, um, it lets us off the hook. Um, and it also... Um, I think we all need to work on the, the problem together because it's too complicated to blame one person or one thing or one act or, um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's multifaceted, unfortunately. As well as using Your film finishes on an optimistic note with the example of San Francisco's zero waste policy. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, I, I actually, in the film, ended up um, using San Francisco as uh, the example because I wanted to show uh, that zero waste could be achieved on a big scale. Tell me about, about when you go and stay in San Francisco in your hotel room, you'll have four different bins and you'll have signs on the wall of what goes into each bin. So it's very, very easy to, to recycle. And I think that's a huge part of what we should be doing. Has the film changed your own habits regarding waste? I don't think the film has particularly changed my own habits dramatically um, because I've always been thrifty um, by nature because um, I was lucky enough to spend a lot of time with my grandparents when I was growing up. And the post-war sort of philosophy of never wasting anything, it just you know, it was instilled in me. I, I ride the same bicycle that I've had since I was 15 years old, and I've, over the years, obviously had it repaired and repaired. But I take tremendous pride in the fact that I've always um, ridden the same bike. And, you know, I have lovely memories of it, so, and with it. So um, I, think, I think we need a sort of slight change of mindset to make things cool <laughs> the longer you have them in a way than actually this perpetual thing of buying new things for the sake of it.